morning, Cindy Williams here, your host. It's time for Bliss to Abundance. Are you ready to talk about scaling, growing your travel business, or following your general passion in life? That's what today's show is about. So first and foremost, my name is Cindy Williams. I'm your host. If this is your first time at the live stream, welcome. Hey guys, I see you popping on. Good morning. Uh, just put, uh, put a little hello or CTR if you're catching the replay later uh, so I can see that you guys are in and enjoying the content. Um, but if it's your first time joining, first of all, welcome. I'm Cindy Williams. I started in the travel industry way back in the 90s and uh, I love three things. I love crazy coffee mugs, amazing earrings, and more than anything, I love travel. My passion and purpose in life is to help people motivate and inspire people to follow their bliss but into abundance. What does that mean? I want you following your passion. If travel's not your thing, that's totally fine. You'll still get some great value out of today's session. But specifically, I help people in the travel industry grow and supersize their travel businesses. So today, we're talking about a really cool uh, topic. Hey, Ann, good morning. Hey, Stacy, good morning. Um, oh, and real quick, by the way, if you are listening to this on our podcast, we have a new podcast on uh, iHeart, iTunes, and Spotify. So that's awesome. But if we sometimes we cover visual items. So if you want to catch us, you can catch the replay on my YouTube channel, the Cindy Williams YouTube channel, also in our Facebook group, uh, Travel Career Coach, or Cruise on Vacation, our Facebook group over there. So lots of different ways to catch the replays later and lots more cool content. If you're not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, definitely do that because we post extra content and valuable stuff over there. But today's topic is the number one thing that owners do wrong when they're trying to grow and scale teams and the top three things that you must do to start scaling high performing teams in your travel business. So a lot, we've been doing a lot of topics for our newer agents lately, but this is one that keeps popping in my world and I thought, oh my gosh, this is one for all my agency owners or maybe you've been an agent for a long time and you're a super salesperson and you're like, you know what, I wanna grow a team. Like that's the next evolution of my business. Before you jump in, there's some things that you should need, you should know, you really need to know. Um, and if you're already in and feel like you're over your head, that's usually a lot of times what happens. Uh, this is gonna be an amazing session for you. So first of all, the whole idea for this session, hey Eric, good morning. The whole idea for this session came because my team, I'm flying my team in from around the country, and this weekend we're doing a weekend retreat, and it's gonna be so fun. There's gonna be barbecue, I'm taking my team sightseeing, uh, and yeah, there's gonna be some business stuff too. I, I'm a really big believer in making sure your company understands at an intimate level what is your vision, and what what is your place in the company, and what is the what are we evolving into? So whether that's you know careers on vacation, our consulting firm, right, that helps you guys grow your businesses, or it's your, we also have a travel agency, and sometimes I do events for them too. But if it's your travel team, you know, getting them engaged in, do are they clear on where your company is going? Do they feel a part of it? Um, so I've been super excited, just planning, putting together the agenda, and I looked at oh my gosh, what we've accomplished in the last year, and I am like. You know, sometimes we have a tendency to go, oh, I feel like I'm behind. And I looked at what we accomplished, and I'm like, holy crap, we've done so much in a year. We've grown so much, and I'm so excited to bring the team in and get them, uh, you know, all on understanding uh, our vision and, and, and their part and, and the valuable ways and the valuable ways that they do and will continue to, to contribute as we grow. But um, so that's what started this whole thing. And I'm like, you know what, I'm going to make my topic on teams this week. So that's what we're going to talk about. So way if we take things way back to the 90s i started as a an agent came right out of high school and went to travel school and um my first year, full year as a travel agent i sold a million dollars in travels so that was amazing so i was an agent happily for several years and then i got moved into the training department and that's where i really learned about performance management how to run that first little small team that goes from the training environment into the real world of taking travel calls. And then I moved into a supervisor role and then I moved into a manager role and eventually I was made a department manager responsible for over 300 seats 
And so I know a little bit about how to get teams to perform. So, and it really is the difference. It doesn't matter if you have a team of five or you have a team of 300. There's some specific key things that you can do to really, really grow. Hey, Elizabeth, good morning. Um, so in today's marketplace, there is not a better way to scale your business than getting a high performing travel team to work with your company. And uh, you know, last week we talked about MLMs and big box hosts. There's a real opportunity because not everyone wants to be part of a thousands and thousands of agent network. They wanna be part of a smaller agency and that's where you as owners have an opportunity. However, <laughs> if it's not set up properly, you can, you can run into some issues and some, and some challenges. So when it's done properly, it is the best thing that you can do to grow and scale your business. Um, and quite frankly, it, here's the thing, like I see it from both sides because I work with owners to help them scale their business. And then I also work with the new agents who are hosting under all kinds of different scenarios. They come to me and go, here's where I'm not feeling supported. Here's where I struggle. So I really have a clear picture of what's happening from the agency owner perspective and what needs to be done and from the end user perspective of someone who's hosting or potentially going to host with your company. The fact of the matter is most people have no business hosting agents because they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> and it's not for like, and no judgment, right? It's not for lack of enthusiasm because usually what happens is you go and you look at the math. Let's say you're a high performing agent you know, maybe six months ago or a year ago, and you thought, you know, should I hire a team? Or maybe that's where you are right now. Like, should I be scaling my business and starting the whole process of, of having a team? So the math is, like, if you're a million dollar agent, you're clear, you should be clearing 100K, right? If you're set up directly through Clea or IATAN, if you're hosting with someone else, you could sell a million, it'll be close to 100K. So, but when you, when you really are on your own and you want to start hosting people and you start looking at the math and go, wow, if I just had, you know, five people selling a million at a very fair 70, 30 split, my cut as an owner would be around 150,000. That's awesome. My team's working. I'm going to work on the business, not in the business. That's how I want to evolve. Or if it's 10 million, 10 million a year, then you're making 300 K. If it's 20 million a year, you're making 600 K. So the math looks amazing, right? You're like, yes, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move forward. So what do most people do? They're like, they go gung ho, they hire some people, they duck, they duct tape a whole process together, they get some training done, and then they sit back and wait for these people to sell. And what happens? Crickets. <laughs> You're like, why is nobody selling? What is happening in my business right now? And... <laughs> And you have a sudden realization. So if you haven't done this already, this is what will, what will or could happen. And if you're already in this situation, you've hired a bunch of agents and you're like, why aren't they producing? You come to this realization. And this is my first realization when I was a first manager of a department and I had like supervisors under me and I'm like, why aren't people producing? When I was a supervisor, my team was the top team. Not everybody is a super doer. Not everybody is a super agent. Not everyone is a go-getter. That is why you are an owner and people are coming to you because they're new. They haven't been groomed to sell a million dollars yet. They haven't been supported enough or they don't have that initiative or they don't really feel it in their blood that the money is possible yet. And so they're trying it out. They're testing the waters. The, if I have time for it, maybe I'll sell some stuff. Maybe I won't. I'm just going to hang out because it seems cool to be a travel agent. And meanwhile, what happens in your world? You suddenly have this realization like, oh my gosh, people aren't producing. And what happens? You are stuck. You can't stop selling because you can't stop your income. So now you're, tr you're trying to sell. You're trying to be a super salesperson. And meanwhile, your team needs training, support, automation, payroll, policies to protect your company. You have to hire, recruit, train, and countless other things that you need to do as an owner of someone that needs to be supporting a team. And what happens? You are completely overwhelmed. And this is normally the process, guys, because you jump in there and you think, oh, it'll all work out. I'll figure it out as I go. And really what your team needs is they need a leader. They need someone with clear vision, supportive structure, good communication, 
and you can't be that for them because they're not producing yet. You're still in selling, not supporting mode. So you're either your infrastructure wasn't set up properly before you got started, or you got to this place now where you're like, how do I wear two hats? Because I still have to feed my family. So what's the choice? You take the sales calls and then you never really become a true owner. So you're stuck. Your team's underproducing. You're stuck in a cycle of chaos. You're trying to sell and you're trying to manage a team. Worst of all, and this is the worst part of it, because you guys, you're working really hard, right? Like I get it. Every time you go through an evolution or you're scaling your business, this process can happen every time you have to evolve and you have this big idea. But worst of all, if you don't fix it for your agents, if you're in it or you're considering it, if you don't fix it, you could spend years working out the kinks just in one process. How do I hire, recruit, train, onboard, right? You could spend years fixing it. You're going to burn out. Like there's only so many hours in the day and you didn't get into running your own business. So your family was put on the back burner once again. So you're going to burn yourself out because you can't do everything. It's impossible. Your team's going to leave. Your team is going to bail for a more supportive environment if they don't feel like they're getting the support that they need, the communication, the structure. So what ends up, ends up happening, you're working three times harder and you're actually making less money because when you factor in the overhead, your time, all of that stuff, you're like, why did I even get into this, right? Okay, so that's all the bad stuff. I'm gonna tell you how to fix it. That's a beautiful part. Like we're gonna get into how to fix it now. So what can you do to turn this monster around if you're sitting in that place? I want you to understand, and I want, you know what? I wanna share a, like a story quick. I have this in here somewhere, but I wanna share this story because I had someone, I had just, a, I had a client just yesterday and so from an end user perspective, like if you're in this place, how does that feel to your staff? So I have a client who's actually in my careers on vacation mastermind now because she's working on supersizing her own business. And one of the, in her, her first consult, we really talked through, you know, what's your, where, are you, what's your situation now? Where do you stand? And she's with a, a smaller host. They promised the moon and the sun and the stars got in. She's been in there almost a year and has made no sales. And she said, you know, I was kind of promised these things, but there's no structure, there's no communication, there's no support, it's completely disorganized, and look, I'm still, I want to work in this travel thing, I want to do this, I see people doing it. So from her perspective, you know, her owner, whoever, they're choosing to put booking ahead of taking care of their agents. So your agents end up feeling unsupported. So turning this around quickly will allow you to keep and maintain your staff and you don't want to get into a situation where you have a reputation where like oh my gosh don't host with that one because it's you know like the message boards are out there right like news gets out so you want to make sure you do it right and if, if it's broken right now that's okay we're gonna show you how to fix it we're gonna talk through that today um, but make sure you understand like number one let's go through so number one thing you can do to turn this around your role has changed you are not a salesperson anymore. You are a owner. You got to boss up and get your stuff together, right? Boss up and transition from selling, selling, selling to supporting, supporting, supporting. If you get your team, if you're a collective agency, we went through those numbers. Hang on, I wrote them down because I hate math. We went through those numbers, right? If you get your agency to collectively sell five million a year, whether that's five agents, 10 agents, or 20 agents, that's 150K is the owner cut. If you get them to send, sell collectively 10 million, your cut's 300. So see how, how if you get it, like if you get it, right? You're gonna have to give up a little bit of the 100 you're making now to supersize and support. And if you do it right, you're not just gonna change your life, your world, your business. You're gonna support all these other people in getting into the travel industry and that's the beautiful thing they want help they want you know that relationship they want a smaller host and that's where you have that opportunity but if you don't recognize you have to put the owner hat on and boss up then <laughs> you're gonna lose your people so that's the number one thing you can do you have to realize like how am I gonna make this transition from shifting to selling selling and you can do it in a way where you don't have to shut down all your sales but you can start to shift leads 
to your better people. So it's a very, it's a delicate dance until it's all moved over. And I know because I went through, I actually don't take travel calls anymore. I have a whole team of travel agents and I still have clients who contact me and go, Cindy, you've handled all my trips. I have my team handle those. I've transitioned and passed off every single one of my clients now to a new fit in our company. And it's beautiful because I get to be here with you and working on the, on the careers on vacation side and supporting you guys and growing your agencies. So at any rate, it is possible. I've worked through the, the process, but the first thing you have to realize is you have to do that delicate dance of backing off your sales and supporting your new team. Second is you have got to get infrastructure in place. So what is infrastructure? How are you going to recruit? How are you gonna hire? How are you gonna onboard? Most important, how are you going to perform, do the performance management process, right? When you don't wanna get hire this big team and then get the crickets. So not everybody is you. What are you gonna to do to get people to sell? Is that gonna be one-on-ones? You're gonna do a monthly meeting? Are you, how are you gonna check their stats? What infrastructure are you gonna put in place to measure the performance of the travel agents that work for you? Right? So having these steps, the, and the other one is payroll, administration, all that admin stuff that comes with being an owner. This is your new job. So if this doesn't sound like fun or exciting to you, then go back to being an agent. There's no judgment in that. You can still be an awesome agent, make 100K in this business, go for it. But if you're like, oh my gosh, she's so right. Like, that's what I'm lacking. I don't have a, a standard process for recruiting, a standard process for hiring, a standard process for onboarding and training my people. And, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm training them and then you're just letting them do their thing. That's why they're not selling. That's why you have a team that's not performing because you're not doing your job of supporting and getting them engaged in your business, understanding your vision, where do they feel apart, checking in with them to, to, to ask them, where are you on your goals this month, right? So, <laughs> Tina says, number one, role has changed, boss up and support. Yes, I think I'm gonna make that a quote. I need to make that a quote before someone steals that. Um, so, the last piece is understand, and this is the number three thing, understand you, have, you now have a responsibility to your staff. You can no longer, you might have not been able to get away with this when you're an agent, duct tape solutions together and have you know all this stuff duct tape so it works in your world. You are supporting a real team now that's depending on you for leadership. They're depending on you for automation, for structure, to pay them on time. So you have a you have a real responsibility to that team to help them, help inspire them, make them feel supported. And if you do that and you create that culture in your company, they will produce for you and they will be with you for a long, long time. But if you don't know how to do these things and you're duct taping, words out like they're gonna go elsewhere. But the good news is, all you need to recognize is that you, the truth is, because most people don't know how to put all this together, like it's complicated. How many people of you have, have built a, a team from scratch? Your job is not to know all the answers. You don't have to know everything, but you have to be a smart enough visionary, a smart enough owner, a smart enough entrepreneur to know when you need to get help. And that's the biggest thing. If you're gonna do right, do it right and do it right from the beginning or fix it if it's broken right now, your job isn't to know every answer, but your job's to get the help, right? So if you are stuck in this place, and hopefully we've given you some amazing tips today because we've really outlined everything you need to do, but getting into all, you know, di deep diving into the structure and the infrastructure, how to set that up, how to make that transition, that is what I work with you guys on for my agency owners in the Careers on Vacation Mastermind program. So if this is something you're considering or struggling with in comparison to making these big numbers down the road, it is a the best investment you will make in yourself and in your future. Um, and your staff will be loving you for it. The good news is once your structure is set up, like you can scale it to 100 agents if you want. It's a one-time process to get everything running and flowing and operating properly so you can really do this as you move forward. So execute on your vision. That's the goal, right? Get the help that you need and the tools that you need to execute on your vision. Uh, guys, I know this was a short live stream today, but we're so busy this week. We have so much going on. I hope you got some great value. Reach out to us at careersonvacation.com forward slash ready now. If you want to talk about scaling and growing your team and getting this infrastructure in place so you can really take your travel business to the next level, I would love to help you with that. And until then, I wish you guys so much love, so much abundance. I wish you the world. Take care, guys. Thanks for tuning in today.